This is my question. Out of all the bitches that you don't smell in here, would you suck the f out my Get, get this bitch, get, um, no, get you must sit tap. You stupid bitch, you filthy slut! Did you fuck with me? How you feel? Get this queen out of here, man. What? Get this queen. What you mean? Get this disrespectful <laughs> queen out of here. You smell the Valentino, you know, baby, come on. Get this dis- Oh, you think it's funny, bitch? Disrespectful. <laughs> Queen out of here. Just came in here. Heart, I'm speaking for the heart. Verbally harass me. I'm not verbally harassing you. Get this disrespectful queen. I out think of you. Here. More, I, 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 we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jesus. We don't give a fuck. I don't think you want to do that. You do, baby. And I, don't have no vendetta with me. Oh, baby. She told me. You she told me Charlemagne a guy do that. She told me Charlemagne. Yeah, they all do it. Don't play like Come that. Come on. Hey, yo. <laughs> Accusations. These are not accusations. Go ahead on, baby. I thought it was a New Orleans thing. I think she got it confused. Yeah. No, I ain't got it confused. Go ahead on. Go ahead on, baby. Who gonna stop me? What you talk about? She through. I'm not through. Just one more. Just one more. Go ahead. See, and she too. We ain't what doing was no it? more. The last question. Get this disrespectful queen out of here. What I do? I'm a professional now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What the hell did you just say? <laughs> you gotta delete that. Delete this. Don't play with him. Don't delete that. Then go to the recently deleted. Delete that okay. too. Yeah. Delete the whole thing. What, what you sucking for? What, what video? Yeah, one got me in. All these videos got me. So you beat them out. Yo, 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 check, 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 check. Oh my god. You be a nigga. You tough, right? Twenty thousand might not be a lot to you, bro. But that was a lot. That was a lot to me, bro. This is my livelihood, bro. I eat off the YouTube stuff, bro. Like I have no other source of income. This is all I got, bro. I'm nineteen, bro. I just got a college for this, bro. Like, bro, when you walk out, I felt, I felt weird, bro. I took you my mom, bro. I'm putting this crease on my phone. I can't get my mom, bro. I feel like a failure, bro. I feel like a mental like this, bro. If I don't make it, bro, she gonna be stuck. You, I'm po bro. You left on my bread. That's why you. F Now, I'm glad this happened. Now, a lot of people are mad at the baby. I'm not. So apparently this YouTuber, I don't even know the YouTuber's name. What's his name? La Mike. This is the issue that I've been talking about. And I knew that's why these podcasts and these shows aren't going to last too much longer. This particular YouTuber pays the baby $20,000 to do a show. To do an interview, I guess maybe do this show where 20 girls is coming to him and he gets to pick and date. He takes the money, the baby, and leave. Not only does he take the money, he makes a video doubling down on why he took the money and he ain't giving it back. Go ahead. Yes, sir. The young nigga want to know the idea. Go to the idea, young nigga. Because I'm feeling good tonight. I'm on some other shit. You see what I'm saying? I was on some other shit the other night, too. That's why I just, I just left peacefully. I said, hmm. This is preposterous. I'm out of here. But since, you know, you getting on here and you you making your little story up and all that, and, and now you mm -hmm. you got you got people playing with my name. Mm. Like I just came and just robbed you. Mm. Check this, this is what we gonna do. 
I'm going to take the $20,000 that you gave me for my time for that hour plus that I spent it up. And I'm going to give $1,000 a piece to the 20 girls that you paid to let a lame nigga like you disrespect them. You know what I'm saying? For that little YouTube check. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that 20000 that you gave me. I'm going to give it to them girls, them queens. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't need to be having no lame ass nigga like you. Play with them, know it. But you... Boy, you're through. You're over with. It's done. That's day money. That's them queens money, nigga. Yo. It ain't 20 verse me no more. It's 20 verse you, nigga. It, it, you're through. And I'm telling you, too, I, w I was just talking to my partner, Rico, when I left from that motherfucker the other night. We we sat outside the hotel, talked for a little minute. Like, I ain't got no business even. You see what I'm saying? It easy as that, that quick little... That quick little 20 ball is to pick up. I ain't got no business. Look, look at the type of little nigga I was just in there dealing with. This little nigga, you, you're lying on your grandma. You're playing. You, you, you sick. I'm inclined because he hasn't been booked and busy around here lately that he needed the money. I mean, that's what he's getting for shows since he made all them comments about AIDS and shit like that. And so his bookings have been really low. His songs haven't really been charting like that. And so I'm inclined that he just needed the money. And that's why he's not giving it back. But for you to try to make up a reason as to why you keeping it and you not giving it back, the whole social media is on his ass. And here's my thing too. I'm not even mad at the baby because I think something like this needed to happen because you have young folk out here that are really paying these motherfuckers to sit down to do content. YouTube was not gonna give him no $20,000 back on that video. It was not going to fucking happen. Yes, he would have rose in popularity, but as far as making a residual back on the baby versus 20 women, I listen, this is why, look, I got TikTokers right now. Tosh K want to interview, but she ain't going to pay me. You got damn right I ain't going to pay you, bitch. The fuck I'm going to pay you for? You already on the motherfucking internet. The f they going to learn. They going to learn. Tell me, please don't scare me, bro. Please. Please, I need this money. He needed it, too. That's why he took it. Shit. Some people are really fucking stupid. <laughs> A lot of shit pissed me off. Like, we got the baby walking out on the interview, you know, to a YouTuber, you know, Lil Mike. Well, it's fucked up because he was really walking off on the females being disrespectful. But I think he thinks that Mike put him up to it, you know, asking these disrespectful ass questions and shit like that. You know, dudes don't got to stick around for bullshit like this. Like, you know, uh, these young niggas just don't know how to read the room. They don't understand how, um, you know, body language speaks for itself. Like, you know, you can tell motherfuckers is uncomfortable with the questions he's telling them to get up out of here. He's telling her to, uh, di telling uh, little Mike to dismiss the girl anyway. And he's just refusing to dismiss her and, you know, uh, having her continue to ask disrespectful questions. Who the fuck wants to sit there and, um, answer questions that is just crazy it's just crazy do you want to uh do this or you want to do that like i'm not going to answer neither of them you know but i don't understand why he think that's okay you know as the interviewer or whatever um we didn't see plenty of people walk off interviews it don't matter what they were getting paid what what happened what backflash or whatever they 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 gonna get Niggas going to walk off the interview because niggas ain't trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Professional athletes do it all the time. The reporter asked some dumb shit. Niggas was walking off. You know what I'm saying? Um, Got to learn how to read the room, man. You know, read what niggas is uh, putting off with their body language, you know. And he seemed like he was real uncomfortable once she even asked the question. So why are you going to have her keep on pushing the same shit? Obviously, he didn't want to answer it. And it's retarded that uh, young niggas gonna go and 
throw hella shit out there. Granny needed the money and this and that, and she fronted you. She got cancer. She dying. And it's a lot. It's a lot going on with this story. But you know, uh, too bad uh, the baby didn't just give him back the bread. You know, niggas trying to make some bread out here. You know what I'm saying? He know you a big name. You know you get. You probably get that for a show. You already know. So that's what his number was. It's a reason why. You know. Because he can draw a lot of attention just off of what he does, you know what I'm saying? These these projects that he does, you know, he uh, produced them himself. He's sitting there with the cameraman making sure everything goes good and shit. He's, he, could, he could be uh, the next 50 Cent, you know, in a couple of years if he really uh, put his mind to it. The baby got some uh, good directing and shit, you know. And actually, he's been having uh, people... Uh, pay him to direct their shit, so fuck you, I mean you could have had him do a skit with you and, you know, made a bag like, but you wanted to have him looking like a fucking idiot instead of building some good rapport and shit like that, I don't know these young niggas just, you know want to do it for the clout and the fame for the time being, but could have, uh, you know develop something where you could have kept using them for your studio where whenever he's in town and shit like that shit like you know you know throwing him a couple more dollars and building rapport but you know just uh openly disrespecting uh one of your guests is kind of stupid to me you know but it is what it is these young niggas want to make the money and make it quick so if disrespecting them making Two uh, million views, three million views. And I don't think you're going to make that. Like Tasha K said, I don't think you're making that bad. But maybe if the, uh, the video go a good two hours or something, you could, you could probably uh, make that back off of a couple million views. But anyway, it is what it is, man. I don't understand these young niggas always thinking being disrespectful is cool. And that's going to get them likes and clicks and shit that they're, you know, shit that they think it's going to be long lasting the temporary money instead of building a whole fucking relationship with somebody and making some real money. I, I, I don't know. I just don't get it these days. But anyway, signs of acceptance and we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.